Haman was the commander for the army for the king of Assyria. He was a great man in his master's sight, and Assyria prospered because the Lord was working through him. Unfortunately, though, he had a bad skin disease called leprosy, which at that time had no cure. If only my master were to go to Israel, there is a prophet there who could cure him of his skin disease. Maybe, here's what my little servant Noah has said. He said that there is a prophet in Israel who can cure you of your skin disease. Then I will go there right now. My wife's servant from Israel has told, has said that there is a prophet in Israel who can cure me of my skin disease. Very well then, you may go right now. Israel. I have a letter for you. When this letter comes to you, note that I have sent you my servant Naaman for you to cure him of his skin disease. Am I God killing and giving life that this man expects me to cure him of his skin disease? Think it over and you will see. He is just picking up the fight. Elijah says, Why have you torn your clothes? Send him to me, and you, he will know there is a prophet in Israel. Very well then, send Naaman to Elijah's house. Hello, are you Elijah's, Elijah? No, I am Elijah's servant. Well, tell your master, Elijah, that I am Naaman, the commander for the army for the king of Assyria, and I have come to be cured of my leprosy. Okay. My master told me for you to wash in the Jordan River seven times and your leprosy will be clean. Well, surely he would have come out and told me himself, are not Lebanon and all the great lakes of Assyria better than all the waters of Israel, and yet he chooses for me to wash in the Jordan River seven times, and I will be clean. One. Why has he brought me to this river? Look how, look how dirty it is. Look how ugly it is. Are not all the great lakes of Assyria better than all the waters of Israel? And he still, he sit, he gets, he me here to dip in this river. So, if he had asked you to to do something great, would you not have done it more than you? And now he asks you to do this. How much more should you do this than if he asked you to do something greater? Okay. All right then, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Master, Master, your skin is like a small boy's. Praise be to Yahweh. I know there is no other God in the whole world except in Israel. So please accept a, ser a gift from your servant. As the Lord lives, I will, I stand before him. I will not accept it. Come on, Elijah, I have brought 10 changes of clothes, 450 pieces of silver, and 20 pounds of gold. I will not accept it. 
If not, please let two mule loads of dirt be given to your servant, for I will never again offer any burnt offering or sacrifice to any other god but Yahweh. In the, however, in a particular manner, may the Lord pardon me, for when the king of Aram and I, as his right-hand man, bow in the temple of Rimon, please pardon me, for when I bow in the temple of Rimon, please may the Lord pardon me. Go in peace. My master has let this Aramean Naaman go off lightly by not accepting from him what he brought. As the Lord lives, I will run after him and get something from him. Have you gone? I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't gone anywhere. Wasn't my soul there when you told Naaman that two of the sons of a prophet have come to my house? Uh, now, for doing, for lying to him, you will get you, the Naaman's disease will cling to you and your descendants forever.